Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree on Christmas Eve. Ben and Holly's Christmas. Hello. Ah! Big people! Hello, wise old elf. It's me, Father Christmas. Father Christmas! Why are you dressed like that? I'm in disguise. Top secret and all that. Ooh! I've popped down to check how you elves and fairies are doing with the Christmas preparations. Everything is in hand, Mr Christmas. We've made all the toys for you to give to the children of the world. Dolls' houses, footballs and teddy bears. Lovely. And Mr Elf has been flying day and night, delivering the toys to you at the North Pole. Good, good. And how about the Christmas crackers? The fairies are in charge of the crackers. Hello, everyone. We have a visitor. Ho, ho, ho. Ah! Of course. You don't know who I am. I'm in disguise. You're Father Christmas. Oh, yes. Mr. Christmas, would you like to test a cracker? Wow, that's loud. Yes, Nanny Plum is in charge of the bangs. Let's bang, please, Nanny. What? But the bang is the best bit. That's why we do the cracker making underground. Let's try the paper hat. How do I look? <laughs> Very Christmassy. And we've got some good cracker jokes this year. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo and a sheep? A woolly jumper. <laughs> Daddy, that's awful. Cracker jokes are meant to be awful. That's why we get King Thistle to write them. <laughs> and the cracker toys. This year, we've made telephones to put in the crackers. A tiny telephone. Does it really work? No, it's just a lump of plastic. And down there, all the bits and bobs are put into the crackers by magic. Mr Elf has delivered loads of Christmas crackers to the shops already. Good. The big people pick them up and put them on the shelves. And they have no idea the crackers were made by elves and fairies. Jolly good work. And how are the Christmas trees? The Pine Elves have been growing them all year. Hello! We've come to see the Christmas trees. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, Father Christmas. Like the outfit, what fashion is it exactly? Uh, it's meant to be a disguise. So many lovely Christmas trees. Yes, Pine Elves are good at growing Christmas trees. And we're Pine Elves! <laughs> tree has little windows in it. Yes, we live in a great oak tree. The pine elves live in a great pine tree. All elves live in trees. Goodness knows why. How do you get all the Christmas trees to the shops? Once a year, the big people come and cut the trees down. And they have no idea the Christmas trees were grown by us little people. But what if they cut down the great pine tree? There's no danger of that. The great pine tree is too big. Everything seems in hand. Thank you, elves and fairies. Our pleasure. I need to get back to the North Pole and change clothes. I can't deliver presents dressed like this. Bye. Bye-bye, Father Christmas. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? The big people should be here any moment to cut the trees down. Here they come. They mustn't see us. Everyone into the great pine tree. You all stay down here. I'm going upstairs to take a look. Close the shutters. Good. Now we're completely hidden. Right then, let's cut these Christmas trees down. Timber! Problem. We 
pine elves are used to the noise. Uh, that was loud. I think they've finished. Excellent. They've taken all the trees. Uh, even the great pine tree. Ah, where's the upstairs gone? The big people have taken it. Don't worry. The wise old elf will sort this out. Uh, where is the wise old elf? It's for you. Oh, hello. Your Majesty. It's a disaster. The great pine tree has been cut down with all the pine elves inside. Well, if they will insist on living in a Christmas tree, what do they expect? <laughs> Your Majesty, that is not helpful. Honestly, why can't they live like normal people in a castle? Nanny Plum, tea break. Ooh, thank you, Queen Thistle. Cracker testing is thirsty work. <gasps> That's the sound of big feet. The big people are coming. They must see the little castle. Oh, yes. Um, uh, I know. I'll shrink it down. Shrink, little castle. Shrink, shrink, shrink. Good. With any luck, the big people won't notice it now. Ah, Nanny Plum! You've shrunk me as well! Uh... Oh, here come the big people. Now, where did I leave my sleigh? Oh, what's this? A toy castle. I didn't know the elves were making these. What's that squeaky noise? Oh, well, I'll just take this toy to the North Pole myself, or else some poor child won't get their Christmas present. Uh, Mr. Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Away we go! Oh, dear. Home at last. Uh, where is my castle? Uh, somehow it sort of shrunk itself down. And Father Christmas thought it was a toy and he's taken it to the North Pole. What? Well, if some people will live in houses that look like little toy castles, what do they expect? Hmm, <sighs> the Queen will sort this out. Queen Thistle! We have a little problem up here that we might need a hand sorting out. Where is the Queen? Uh, on her way to the North Pole. Somehow she shrank down inside the castle. I see. I'll just have to sort this mess out myself then. Let's give Father Christmas a ring. Ah, good. A phone. Ah! Put me down. Ah! Get me out of this cracker. Still one more box of crackers? Let's get them loaded. Taking a long time. I'm the king! <laughs> oh, another box of crackers. It's funny, we never see who delivers them. Ah, oh, trapped in a cracker! <sighs> oh well, at least I can phone for help. Ah, oh, yes, it's not a phone. It's a lump of plastic. Get me out of this cracker! Trees! Last delivery of Christmas trees! Wow, that's a big Christmas tree. Stacked up in a garden centre. How embarrassing. Ah, the North Pole! I need to get ready for my Christmas deliveries. One last toy to be wrapped. I'm not a toy. I'm Queen Thistle. Ah! Help! Let me out! I'm the Queen. King Thistle trapped in a cracker. The wise old elf stuck in a Christmas tree. Queen Thistle... Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree on Christmas Eve. Snow! Come on, elves. Let's get the elf plane loaded. Radio!
Wind the engine. Roger that, Mr. Elf. Wind the engine. Right ho. Hi, boys. Hi, Hi girls. What's happening? Dad has an important job to do. What kind of job? He's flying to the North Pole. The North Pole? Yes, we're making our final delivery of toys to Father Christmas. Ooh! Flight 1000, ready for takeoff. Flight 1000, you are cleared for takeoff. Roger that, Control. Toys to Father Christmas. Well, who do you think makes all Father Christmas's toys? Um, elves? That's right, us elves. Ah. Elves work all year deep underground in the elf factory making toys. Then, in December, Ben's dad flies to the North Pole and delivers the toys to Father Christmas. Does he land at the North Pole and meet Father Christmas? No, he never lands. He drops the toys by parachute. Then Father Christmas wraps the toys up and delivers them to the children of the world. All the children? Even our friend Lucy? Oh, yes. Even Lucy. I love Christmas. And I love snow. Me too. I wish it was snowing now. Yes, it's Christmas Eve. When's it going to snow? Maybe it's time for a weather forecast. Weather forecast? Yes, we can use my elf weather detector. Wow! So can this machine tell if it's going to snow? Of course. How does it work? I listen to the weather through this giant ear trumpet. It's so sensitive, I can hear a butterfly flapping its wings in Africa. Can you hear any butterflies? Ah, don't talk loudly into the trumpet. Sorry, wise old elf. Now, please stay quiet. Ah, interesting. Is it a butterfly? No, I can hear weather. What sort of weather? Uh, <clears throat> there's a chance of sun or rain with clear skies or clouds. Is it going to snow? I can say it certainly might, but then again, it might not. Oh. I know. Let's ask Nanny Plum if it's going to snow. Why ask Nanny Plum? Nanny can tell the future. Ha! This I must see. <laughs> Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! You can tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Oh, oh I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it, like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that thing predict the weather? It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer, obviously. That would be silly. Well, you can't tell exactly when it's going to snow, can you? Yes, I can. It's going to snow now. Abracadabra! That's cheating. No, it's not. Make it snow! Nanny's made it snow. Let's go and see it. <laughs> <laughs> what? But where is the snow? Ah! Nanny Plum! It's snowing inside. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> snow! Snow! <laughs> Let's play Ooh, Nanny Plum, it's snowing in the sitting room. Is this your doing? Yes, it is. Inside is for sitting in armchairs and reading. Outside is for snow. Oh. 
Inside, outside, whatever. Nanny Plum, you're fired. <laughs> Don't be silly. I'm taking away your wand until you learn how to control your spells better. But what about the snow? Not another word. Aww. Everyone out. Now Daddy's taken Nanny Plum's wand. She won't be able to magic any snow. Now we won't have any snow for Christmas. There's always a chance it might snow anyway. I can hear something. Is it snow? No, it's the elf plane. Dad's back from the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last delivery done. Dad, did you see snow? Yes, lots of it. Enough snow to last me a lifetime. Now you've finished your work, Mr Elf. Are you on holiday? Holiday? Good gracious, no. It's Christmas Eve. There's work to be done preparing tonight's Elf and Fairy Feast. Oh, yes, the Midnight Elf and Fairy Feast. On Christmas Eve. With music and singing. And lanterns. Yes, and those lanterns don't hang themselves up to work. Stop, Mr Elf. It's about time you had a rest. A rest? You've been working hard all year. Just sit down and relax for five minutes. I can give you three. You work too hard. Elves like working hard. And I'm an elf. <gasps> oh, dear. You really must relax. Just say, I'm on holiday. Well, all right. I'm on holiday. Ah. That's nice. Hello, wise old elf speaking. Ho, ho, ho! It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. We seem to be missing some toys. I can't find Box 571. Box 571? I need those toys before tonight. Or some children will not get their Christmas presents. Never fear, Mr Christmas. We will get the box to you. I will deliver it personally. Box 571? It could be anywhere. We'll never find it. Is it this box, Dad? The one that says Box 571? What? Well done, Ben. You found it. To the elf plane. We leave immediately. Well, that was a nice holiday, while it lasted. Are you going back to the North Pole? Can we come? Can we, Dad? Please? Please, Miss Elf. I don't mind who comes, but we must leave straight away. Hooray! Brilliant! I'll just get my wands back from King Thistle and then... There's no time for that, Nanny. We need to get these toys to Father Christmas right away. Elf honour is at stake. Ready for takeoff, Captain. Everyone on board. Ben, it's snowing. Oh, wow! Snow! You see, my snow globe is never wrong. Hmm. What do all these buttons do? Don't touch anything, please, Nanny Plum. Wind the engine. Righty ho! Ready for takeoff. We're not going to play in the snow. We're just dropping off the toy box and coming straight home. So we won't meet Father Christmas? Good gracious, no. We're on a mission. There'll be no playing in the snow and no meeting Father Christmas. Join us in our next episode when we play in the snow and meet Father Christmas.